Langbin, Brad Hansen, meteorologist Jackson Garlock, and sports director Alex Stewart. News 9 at 6 continues. There's a building in Weston currently undergoing renovations and it's slated to open by this summer offering long-term solutions for those suffering from addiction. The executive director of the nonprofit is Pastor Yao Yang. For his efforts in reaching out to change lives, he's being recognized with the Jefferson Award. Well, spring and summer. Pastor Yao Yang is on a mission. My background is just poverty. Like, I know what it means to struggle in life. Born in a refugee camp in Thailand in 1980, he and his family remained there for seven years before arriving in central Wisconsin. And so I've just been blessed by the generosity of this community. And he knew he wanted to help others in the same way. While in college, he signed up to serve after 9-11, leading to a life-changing promise. I said, God, if you can get me out of Iraq alive, when I come back to Wausau, I'll give you my life. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Just don't let me die here. He returned home and started a teaching career then found a new calling, becoming a pastor at the Cross Church almost eight years ago. They're going to stay here for uh, 12 to 18 months. His next goal, creating a faith-based residential treatment center in Weston. A place to be able to help people for long term, to be able to deal with their addiction and their brokenness. The Gospel TLC aims to transform lives, offering a place to stay while learning work and life skills. This is truly a matter of life or death with what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Lisa and Mike Schradel only wish its doors had opened sooner. My son um, passed away August 27th um, from an overdose. They say their son Sam showed interest in connecting with this center and they have made donations to show their support for it. We can get one person in here that, that it helps out or helps a family go, uh, not have to go through the things that we've gone through, then it's, it's well worth it. It's family stories like that and knowing how far he's come that friends say continue to push Yao forward. And being able to realize that American dream and then being able to give back. Looking at a, a, a crisis in our community and saying, we can do better by serving others. For me, uh, the blessings that I have been able to receive, I want to be able to pay that forward. Congratulations to Yao. What a pleasure it was to meet him. And if you know someone deserving of a Jefferson Award, please let the selection committee know by filling out a nomination form. Those are on our websites.